What's up guys, Gaming Practitioner here with some EA Sports UFC 2 on um, playing online I was playing against Nate Diaz, I had Steven Wonderboy Thompson, man this was a good fucking fight, um, excuse me, the fight, this fight was so, this fight was so good that we was like, it was to the point where it wasn't like I was throwing wild strikes and wild crazy strikes, but I was picking my shots. We were both picking our shots, like just throwing a lot of one twos and a lot of overhands. You're gonna see it in this fight. I was um my strategy though, my strategy was the kickbox with um Steven Wonderboy Thompson or either use that karate type kickboxing style that he has. Um, he has some pretty good hands on here. He don't have the fastest hands, but it's just like in um, real life You have to he, he's very precise So you have to be if you use Steven Wonderboy Thompson try to be precise with his strikes um, Use that distance management Always manage the distance stand on the outside range not too much though, you know stand on the outside picking your shots not always not getting in there fighting like he's a smaller um one of the smaller guys and just throwing wild crazy strikes but i'm a rest of the time i'm gonna just talk about this fight because this fight this game was absolutely fucking crazy <laughs> it was we were getting rocked like left and right you know not constantly constantly but it, it was a very good fight. He was picking his shots, you know, throwing those one two, throwing some body kicks. I like the way he was playing. He wasn't like, it wasn't like a rush, but at the same time, he wasn't like, you know, just spending, just spending time like running, running, running. And, um, you know, which is, there's nothing wrong with movement because I like to use movement on this game as well. But you have some people who just run around the cage, like literally run around the cage and just do nothing. But, um, or either a lot of people want to be aggressive online, but nah, not, not with this guy. You know, he's, he was, it was a really good challenge for me, especially because right here, like those exchanges, just the exchanges itself was really just fun for me because seeing how, he would throw a one-two, <clears throat> watch his stamina, and then back out the pocket a little bit. Sometimes he wouldn't let his stamina get up, and he was um, he would he would tag me. Like, let me see if I could find a, a good example so I can show you all what I mean. Right there, I tag him, and he comes back like that. Like he feel as if he has to get that back. So I was um, I was just enjoying it though. Because it wasn't like he was just throwing wild hooks. He's seen his stamina get too low. He would move back some, but overall, he he a pretty good um, player. I don't remember his name, but I'm gonna send him a friend request though. I know that pretty good damn player. Right there, we just just straight boxing, straight boxing right there. I love this fight. This was like my favorite fight of um. Oh, right there, I get rocked. That's the first one right there. First one right there. Um, this is one of my favorite fights of, not not all the time, but this is one of my favorite fights since the game, <clears throat> the game came out in March. This is one of my favorite fights. I literally go back and watch this fight. <laughs> if not every day, every other day, just because of how, like, we use the same combination, just one, twos, and or either throw a jab, overhand, using kicks. But we were really just, it was just really a good boxing slash kickboxing match. Right there, you catch me with an overhand. Catch him with that uppercut. I was trying to keep my head off of the center line and slip to the outside or either slip to the inside and catch him with those, um, those jabs or either straight uppercuts. Like right there again. Jab up. Okay, I love doing that. I suggest that um, a lot of people start doing stuff like that because I notice online a lot of people like to parry. A lot of people like to parry and never use head movement. You got it's rare that you see people use head movement. Right there, just a few seconds ago. Now, right there, I catch him with a big head kick. 
nice overhand, straight jab, hook. It was just so much going on. Like, <laughs> we're just going back and forth. Just this whole, just the whole fight. Right there, at the end of the round, catch him with a nice body kick. Forgot which round this goes to now, though. Round two, okay. So I'm gonna commentate over the rest of this round. All right, so moving in, miss that overhand, jab, moving out. Mm, nice. Straight jab, overhand. See, it's like almost as if he has to get it back. I, my stamina gets lower right there. I don't know why I threw that spinning kick. All my stamina just drained. I had the stamina advantage over him, so. But he was a smart guy. He wasn't stupid and just kept on swinging without any stamina. Though. See, he felt like he had to get that back. But he was just kept, he was just throwing those. And he started mixing up through the hook. Mm, right there overhand, I catch him. Pressuring, pressuring. Cutting off the angles. Leg kick. Hook. Goes with an overhand, and I get out the way. Catch with an overhand. Body kick. And those body kicks with Steven Thompson were rangy. Very rangy. I love them. Using the head movement by me. You can catch with an overhand. The key was just to really, like, just I was picking my shots. I seen how he was playing. I started taking notice of that. Nice. Oh, overhand, I thought he was gonna catch me with that one. Catch me with the overhand right there. Mm. We're just connecting, just connecting. Boom, both of us connect on the overhand. I believe we missed it. May have missed it. Throwing combinations. <clears throat> he catches me with another overhand. This was nothing but like a jab overhand fest. That's all it was. And it kind of became predictable. That's why I was using that head movement. Catching with the overhand right there in the exchange. Pushing forward. He throws a strike. Body kick. Sway back. Oh, moving in through the hook. Miss. Miss the uppercut. Catching with the straight. Wheel kick. Miss. Now, boom. Straight jab. Now I'm just picking the shots. Looking for that finish. Just looking for that perfect punch. Right there, we're giving a little exchange. Looking for that body shot. I was I was looking for the body the uh, body kick or even the um, overhand. Mm. Straight, just missed. Nice overhand. He catches me with it. He pushing forward, pushing forward, clinches up. Knees to the leg. Goes to tie clinch. I like how he um he did. I forgot. It was like a transition. Like he switched from one transition to another. You can do that on this game as well. Jab overhand. Catch me with the overhand. Caught him with a lead overhand. He moved out the way. Nice body shots. Nice overhand. He caught me with body kick right there. Rocks him. Rocks him. He throws a strike. He should have stood back. Oh no, body. Looking for that body kick. I believe I am. Right there, straight. Mm. Using the head movement. Trying to tag him. Overhand rocks him right there, pressuring. Looking for the one twos. Come up, jab, hook, uppercut. It clipped him right there as he was falling down. TKO, crazy fight, back and forth fight, back and forth fight. It was just such an awesome damn fight. Shout out to that guy. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know his name. Right here, look at that replay again. Hook, uppercut, clips him as he was going down. Clips him right as he was going down. A nice boxing combination right there. Smooth technique. I'm all about um, clean knockouts. But if you like that video, guys, hit the like and subscribe button for more EA Sports UFC 2 content. 
Also, I will be putting up more games on this channel, and um, not just UFC 2, but some other games. I don't know what yet, but until then, Gaming Practitioner out. Peace.